Welcome to MathX. Let's solve this equation together. For x's that are negative, 1 over x, of course, is something negative, and 256 will be something positive. For example, 256 to power of negative 1 is going to be 1 over 256, which is positive. So if this side is negative, this side positive, so no solutions for these x's. Okay, let's see it here. Now for x's that are more than one, one divided by something more than one, so one over x will be less than one. But 256 to power of x is more than 1 will be even larger. So, again, no solutions. So that means the solution has to be between 0 and 1. Now, can you guess the value of x? Let's try to solve the equation now. Okay. Now the two sides are the same. If we add exponents, obviously the same. And I'm going to add 1 over x. Why 1 over x? Let's review the power rule. Okay. All we have to do is multiply m by n. And in this case, x multiplied by 1 over x is 1, and 256 to power of 1 is itself. So, instead of 256, what can we write? Okay, now you see 8. If we assume 8 is m times n, we need two numbers that are multiplied and become 8. So I'm going to go with 2 and 4. Okay, but why do I do it? So 2 is here, 4 is out. I do it because 2 to the second power is 4. So all of this becomes. 4 to the 4th power, okay? Now, by comparison, you see that 1 over x has to be 4, and the equation is almost solved. So, the value of x, the solution is 1 over 4. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't go without a like.